Hi darlings, welcome back. Today I am thrilled to be doing a wardrobe essentials video. It has been a little while since I did a wardrobe essentials video. I have quite a few of this style of video that are maybe a year or two years old on my channel, but let's face it, the world has changed. We are all in need of slightly different essentials right now than we did a year ago and two years ago. So I guess you could say this is my COVID updated <laughs> wardrobe essentials. I'm gonna be sharing with you the top 10 things that you need in your wardrobe right now. And for every single example that I have to share with you, I have tried to find an affordable option and a slightly more premium alternative as well. So hopefully, no matter your budget, there will be something in this video that works for everyone. I'm really frequently asked for kind of wardrobe staples, capsule wardrobe types of videos. So hopefully, this will tick all of those boxes. When I think about the garments and the things that I am getting the most use out of right now, I could pretty much live in just these 10 things. So these are the kind of items that you will get so much wear out of, so much use out of, and chances are you already have most of these things in your wardrobe. As always, everything that I'm talking about, everything that I'm wearing will be linked in the description box down below. So if you would like to shop anything, you can just click show more and you'll find all the information. I post UK links, I post US links, so hopefully no matter where you're shopping from, you'll be able to find what you are looking for. And darlings, if you are new to the channel, please, please do consider hitting the red subscribe button down below. That would truly make my day. Alrighty, let's get started. So the number one wardrobe essential that everyone should have in their wardrobe right now is a piece of statement knitwear. Now that's a little bit of an oxymoron because for me, knitwear means cozy, it means easy to throw it on, but let's face it, we are living in a time of Zoom, we are living in a time where this little bit is all that people are seeing. So having some knitwear that ticks the comfy box, because let's be honest, most of us are spending a lot more time at home than usual so comfort has become my number one most important factor with everything that I wear everything that I purchase I care so much more about comfort than I ever have done before so knitwear at its very core is comfy and yet because of the kind of things we're doing whether it is those Skype calls those zoom calls a statement knitwear is a really great thing to have in your wardrobe for those times when you want to be comfy but stylish at the same time so a retailer that I talk about all the time when it comes to knitwear which I feel is a really good value it's great quality and the prices are not too astronomical is and other stories and I have quite a few examples from and other stories this I have been wearing it so much lately it is at its very heart just a comfy cozy cardigan but these little pearls on it just give it that little something extra which makes me feel like I'm more in touch with my personal style a newer one that I just picked up from and other stories is this one can you tell I do love the neutrals and that is something that my old school subscribers will know I do like to invest in those more neutral pieces just because then everything goes together and if you are working on a capsule wardrobe you want to be able to mix and match from everything have every item in your wardrobe to pick and choose from so if you stick to a color palette and in my case my color palette is these light colored neutrals and a touch of blush pink and everything magically works together so if you're new here you'll be seeing a lot of this color palette so I hope you like it <laughs> this again is just a classic cardigan but it has really cute detail on the buttons they almost look a little bit antique -y. you've got this one you've got a little sneaky one just look for those little design details on those very wearable pieces just to elevate those more basic items in your wardrobe but then you can also look at design details such as the silhouette to update what is essentially a very simple knit into something a little bit more stylish such as this one with the puff sleeve shoulders all of these have got a really lovely low neckline so yes if you do have a zoom or a facetime meeting why not accessorize with a really lovely necklace it just makes it look as though you are a whole lot more put together but you're still wearing your comfy clothes the next wardrobe essential is a pair of practical boots. So yes, bear in mind that this is kind of the winter edition of this video and I will probably make something very similar for those warmer months, so stay tuned. But at the moment, one of my most worn items of footwear, I would say I rotate between the three types of footwear, all of which I'll be talking about in this video. But practical boots are something that I could not live without, especially now that we live in the middle of nowhere. This is my affordable option. I can't give you an exact price because these are actually from Amazon and the price of these fluctuates. I think I got these for around 
42 pounds. I've actually had these for going on two years now, but they are still available on Amazon, so I'll leave them linked down below. I think at the moment they're around 35 pounds. They are so comfortable. I think they look brilliant with everything from leggings, even to jumper dresses. They are surprisingly versatile, but I'm all about that price per wear. So if I wear something a lot, then I am not afraid to invest in something a little bit more expensive. So I would be on the lookout and I wouldn't be averse to a pair of designer practical boots. I th I'm sure that Chloe probably have some incredible ones. Gucci X North Face launched today, the day that I'm filming this video. I did have a look at their practical boot offering, but I wasn't blown away by the style. But it's definitely on my radar, not something that I would rule out. But there are so many options in that slightly more premium price bracket that's not at the price where you are paying for a designer label, you're paying for the quality and the craftsmanship and not the label, which is of course the happy medium. So I also have this gorgeous pair. I'm sorry if you can see some mud on these, but these are very well worn. These are my gorgeous practical boots from Sorrel. As I mentioned, they are neutral for me. They are this beautiful blush shade. So yes, they go with everything. And the thing to look for in practical boots is really good quality material. You want good quality leather. You are gonna be wearing these when stomping through the fields, marching to wherever you need to march to so look for a practical sorry it's muddy <laughs> a practical grippy sole so that if we get any ice any snow you are gonna be safe and sound wardrobe essential number three will come to no surprise if you watch my vlogs or any of my fashion videos and it is a knitted dress. Yes, I'm wearing one right now. This is my newest knitted dress. This is from Holland Cooper. I absolutely love it. It's very classic with this mock turtleneck at the top. Keeps me nice and warm and toasty. You can see it's got this button detail on the sleeves. The length is just above the knee, so paired with black tights and some lovely boots. It is just a very, very comfortable and yet stylish outfit option. That's what I love about knitted dresses. I feel like people often overlook them and so many so many people that I see online, they spend their days at home when they are even having just a casual day wearing tracksuit bottoms um, or like leggings and a hoodie. But actually, a jumper dress is a million times more comfortable and yet I feel like you're a little bit more stylish and put together at the same time. So if you haven't got any jumper dresses or knitted dresses in your collection, I highly, highly recommend doing so. If you want to look towards the more affordable side of the scale, perhaps this is your first foray into jumper dresses, then fear not, I have got you covered. H&M is my absolute go-to when it comes to affordable jumper dresses. One of the last times I went out pre-lockdown, I wore this with a beautiful belt, some lovely boots and a handbag, and one of my friends actually thought it was my Max Mara jumper dress. I have got a gorgeous Max Mara jumper dress, but yes, it is hundreds of pounds. This was, I think, around the 20 pound mark. It's been in the wash so many times. It's that lovely material that is very hard wearing. It's not bob, it's actually not bobbled as much as my Max Mara one. But don't forget, bobbling is actually not a sign of a bad quality material. In fact, it can be the opposite because more natural materials tend to be a little bit longer and more wispy in the hair fibers. So they do just naturally knot up. So all you need is a little bobble off and your bobbles will become a problem of the past. But anyway, I digress. This jumper dress is from H&M. I feel like with the right accessories you can truly make it look like a very expensive piece not that looking expensive is the be all and end all but if you like to elevate your outfits start with something simple it can be something simple and affordable as your base and you can't go far wrong there is simply no denying that a luxury handbag can really elevate an outfit and I would say that a luxury handbag is in my top 10 wardrobe essentials just because of the versatility and the price per wear and I think if you choose well then a really good luxury handbag can end up being a far better value purchase than a more affordable high street bag that you don't get as much wear out of. However, for my, <laughs> I hate to say it, but for my COVID wardrobe essentials, I would say a subtle luxury handbag is the best option if you are looking to add a new designer bag to your wardrobe or perhaps invest in your very first one. I have to be honest, I'm just not really feeling luxury handbags right now. I don't care for any of these trend bags at the moment and the bags that I am loving and using the most right now are actually my older bags which have less of a design detail to them. They are those trendless classic bags that have truly stood the test of time. The great thing is a lot of these can be found at slightly discounted rates, of course classic things very rarely go down properly in the sale, but you can find the odd really good discount on some classics such as my Chloe Tess. This was one of my best ever handbag purchases and I would say this is a subtle luxury bag. It's not covered in any particular branding, it doesn't scream a particular 
brand, it doesn't have any logos on it, aside from a very subtle word Chloe embossed here. And because of this, it's not really going to date. Yes, you can still buy this exact bag right now, and I would still recommend picking up a Chloe test bag if you don't already have one in your wardrobe because it's one of those styles that really isn't going anywhere, it's not going out of style. And if you are investing in a luxury bag right now, while we're not going out and seeing anyone, you want to make sure that your purchase is going to be one that you still absolutely love in one year, two year, five years, 10 years time. So investing in a more subtle luxury bag would definitely be my recommendation. I did say at the beginning that I would have an affordable alternative to everything, but that kind of goes against everything that I have just said. So of course, don't feel like you need to add a luxury bag to your wardrobe. If and when the time comes that you want to have something a little bit more statement, then why not look to the rental market? Catwalk Club is one of my favorites and you can rent luxury bags if that is the look that you're going for. So because we are all spending a little bit more time at home at the moment, my next wardrobe essential is a pair of pretty pyjamas. Now pyjamas can range hugely. I have seen silk pyjamas going for the like four or five hundred pound mark. And yes, a couple of years ago, I did actually invest in a pair of Olivia Van Hull pajamas. Oh my goodness. But there are so many more affordable alternatives that are just as beautiful on the high street at the moment. I have just treated myself, literally these arrived just this morning, to a very classic new set of pajamas from Mango. And these actually look very, very similar to the classic Olivia Van Hull silk pajamas. Whether I'm shopping from luxury retailers or high street retailers, I just prefer those classic silhouettes, those classic shapes, because I want everything in my wardrobe to be something that I love wearing in many many years to come. I want to get good use out of everything that I'm purchasing and for me those more timeless things just tick those boxes a little bit better. So I feel like this is just a very elegant and timeless pyjama set. They feel very silky and luxurious but without the expensive price tag. And I also picked up this very similar, very fun set which is also from Mango with the little polka dots on it. I've gone for that shirt shape. If you are doing that loungewear as outerwear trend then you could definitely get away with wearing this kind of thing as a blouse. Personally I don't love that trend. I have plenty of knits that I'd rather wear out of the house than my pyjamas. But this is a really nice way of treating yourself, something that you'll get a lot of wear out of without breaking the bank. If you are perhaps looking for some really snazzy pyjamas for your birthday or for bridesmaids or something like that, I am in love with the brand Sleeper. They have the ones with the little feathers um, on the sleeves and on the hems. I have a pair of linen pyjamas from Sleeper that I wear during the summer months, so there are definitely some more luxurious examples out there. But as shown with these lovely sets, you definitely don't need to break the bank to treat yourself to some pretty pyjamas. This next one is one that I have really surprised myself with because it's something that a year ago I never would have thought that I wanted or needed in my wardrobe. But right now it is probably the most worn thing in my entire wardrobe and it is a good quality puffer jacket. Oh my goodness. I was missing out. I never owned a proper puffer jacket before this one. This is my absolute dream. Every time I wear it, I feel like I'm just having a duvet day. It is so soft and squishy and comfortable. It is so warm and toasty. I actually feel quite chic and cool when I'm going out on my dog walks. It's so long that it actually hides an embarrassing outfit. The other day when Charlie and I went to pick up some lunch, I had the most embarrassing loungewear outfit on, but luckily this covered the whole thing so I wasn't embarrassed as to what I was wearing underneath. I think when the time comes again that we are able to travel, long haul flights, things like that, this will also be great because it doubles as a duvet and a pillow as well. The long puffer jacket is just the long lost item in my wardrobe that I never could have foreseen myself falling in love with. So this one is my absolute dream, my bestie. I love it so much more than I ever thought I would, but I have seen some more affordable, slightly more affordable options on places like Arquette, H&M, but with outerwear I always recommend investing as much as you can because they are those part of your outfits that people see the most. They are the most utilitarian practical part of your outfit as well as your footwear and something that if you invest in the right piece you are going to get a lot of wear out of so think about that price per wear. The next wardrobe essential for right now is a pair of snazzy slippers. Okay so I have been wearing my slippers more than any other piece of footwear right now because I'm spending so much time at home but I decided I need to up my slipper game. These are not just any slippers, these are slippers which actually support <laughs> the sole of my foot and yes I'm all about that comfort and practicality right now. I actually have really good options for both budgets. So let's talk about the more affordable pair first. When you are wearing these, they literally look like they are emu or Ugg slippers. They don't look like anything special, but actually if you look closely, you can see that these have got 
a lot of support on the sole of your foot so if you have high arches or you have a lot of hard floors in your house you might be noticing that your feet are aching a little bit more and that's probably because your foot is actually not being supported when life was normal and we were going out a bit more and we were wearing proper footwear our foot was being supported for longer during the day whereas i don't know about you but my old slippers we're not supporting my feet. This sounds really, really boring, but think about the amount of time that we spend on our feet. I thought because more of that time is at home at the moment wearing slippers, I needed to invest in some with a little bit more support. So this is my affordable option. Again, from Amazon, oh my goodness, I'm getting so many of my basics from there at the moment. But then just before I spotted the Amazon ones, I had already ordered this pair from Net-A-Porter. These are not really slippers, I'm using them as, I'm calling them my house shoes. They are again, so comfortable. They're a little bit of a cross between slides and slippers. I love the shearling crisscross detail on the top. Both of these have got more um, sturdy soles than your typical slippers as well. So if you need to run outside, then you are fine to do so. They're almost like Birkenstocky in that your foot is so supported down at the bottom. And I have to say, these are what I'm loving wearing the most around the house at the moment. Next is the holy grail of the lockdown wardrobe, and it is the ultimate pair of leggings. I'm sure that we have all spent more time in leggings this year than we ever have in the past. And for me, the ultimate pair of leggings needs to, of course, be comfortable. It needs to be a classic color that goes with everything. It needs to have some kind of tummy support just because I prefer how they look when they have a little bit of tummy support and they mustn't be see-through. Would you believe that my favorite of all of my leggings is the most affordable of all my leggings and again amazon they were from amazon these have got the most high waist i have ever seen in a pair of leggings i mean this whole thing is the high waistedness this whole amount here is tummy control so you can tuck your little jumpers in if you want to do that kind of crop jumper style i just feel so held in i feel like i'm being hugged the whole time when i am wearing these i have also just seen that reese have released some very chic black leggings as well so i might be tempted to add those to my collection because again i'm just wearing them so much at the moment but when i'm feeling very experimental and i want to ditch the black leggings i also have a brown pair of leggings i know really really pushing the boat out here, but this is another of my favorites. They are from Sweaty Betty. They have got the bum lift technology in there, um, little pockets as well. You probably can't really see lighting wise, but these are actually a dark brown shade. And I feel like if you just want something a little bit lighter, a little bit, I mean, what am I saying? They're still super dark, but sometimes when I don't want to wear black, I wear brown. At the very beginning of the video, I mentioned statement knitwear, but I also feel that there is room in this top 10 for the more classic knitwear pieces as well. These are the kind of items that you pair with your leggings, even over the top of your jumper dress, if you do need a little bit of extra warmth. And if I'm not wearing a jumper dress, I will 99% of the time be wearing leggings and a classic knit. Once again, the high street has got us covered. This is one of my most worn, it's just from H&M. You've got this lattice detail in the middle, classic cable knit design, other than that. it's so soft it's so comfy it's so classic and again it can be styled with some really lovely boots nice crossbody bag your puffer coat and you'll look surprisingly chic considering that you are wearing loungewear basics of course you can go super premium again with the cashmeres the max maras the isabel morons but that happy medium for me that premium premium price point holland cooper of course they are for me now the brand that i think of straight away when it comes to those classic chunky knits i love their style with the roll neck the buttons on the shoulders and on the sleeves this is such lovely quality i feel so warm and toasty with this perfect for those dog walks but when we are allowed to go and stop for maybe a sunday roast at a pub after our dog walk then this is perfect so i feel so chic so classic when i'm wearing something like this but then the high street also has loads of options if you prefer something a little more plain perhaps you don't love the cable knit design and this is a really classic one that i picked up with actually the matching bottoms they're a little bit more loose so if i feel like something a little bit different to my leggings i want something a little bit more relaxed fit then this is another really classic piece of knitwear that again just transcends the trends so i'll be wearing it long after 2021 has been and gone. And my 10th final classic wardrobe essential for these COVID times is a pair of fabulous boots. Now I already mentioned the practical boots but we also, I don't know about you, I feel like I'm just not desiring high heels. 
obviously there's nowhere to wear them and as I mentioned throughout the video comfort for me is the number one factor right now and yet I still want to have some footwear that makes me look and feel a little bit more fabulous so for me a pair of wonderful boots really ticks that box my latest acquisition is my Prada boots oh my goodness this is the kind of footwear that is of course very classic design wise there's not much to it they are just a classic pair of riding boots so i feel confident that i'll be able to wear these for literally for decades the quality of these is absolutely supreme they've got that very luxe kind of riding boot look to them they look great worn with just classic leggings and a chunky knit honestly everything that i've mentioned in this video pairs really really well together no matter what your personal style no matter where you live i feel like they're all just so so timeless of course prada boots is not within everyone's budget not everybody wants to spend this amount of money on a pair of boots. I believe that Zara have a pair almost identical to this, so there are definitely some more affordable options. But one of my favorite quotes is we spend half our life in bed and the other half of our life on our feet, so invest in a great mattress and a great pair of boots. So my darlings, those are my top 10 wardrobe essentials that everyone needs in their wardrobe at the moment. As I mentioned, everything will be left linked down below if you would like to discover any more about the pieces or add any of them to your own collection. And now that, my darlings brings us to the end of today's video so thank you so much for watching leave me a comment down below with what your number one wardrobe essential is that you are getting the most wear out of right now and that's all from me i will see you very soon in the next one bye